And now. Good afternoon again, Jeff Car World. At least I hope it's afternoon. As I say that, I'm not really sure when you're watching it. So good day, Jeff Car World. Welcome to another one of our Bravo flag videos. I've been pushing a couple of these out here recently, and hopefully you've had a chance to watch the one about the waiver and the gear check agreement, and hopefully you've had a chance to watch the one about the Flagtronics update and the VPI lookup, and give us a hand with that one. And hopefully now you're on to this one. This one, I want to discuss a few things about the upcoming Road Atlanta race. As you may or may not know, this will be our championship race, and the championship race always comes with a few extra complications because it is the championship for the previous year, but it is also the first race, in this case, the first race of the year for the, this year's championship for 2023's eligibility. So we have to make sure that things are as much on an even playing field as possibly can. So the first thing right out of the gate, for those of you who have run in the championship events before, you know, your car has to be configured as it was raced in 2022, right? As it qualified for this year's championship. And really specifically, that goes to the point valued items on the car. Your car will be valued based on the VPI and the points for items based on 2022, right? So as raced, bring the same car, value it, and point it the same. That obviously leads into the question when we talk about bring the same car of safety equipment. And no. You do not have to run older safety equipment. If you have updated your fire system, if you've put in new belts or seats, stuff like that, obviously that stuff doesn't count. Driver safety equipment, you modernize and update, obviously you have to have updated equipment on the car. Speaking of which, we have rolled out a couple things in the last year or two, mostly specifically the dash bars, and we've been generous with what we've considered to be dash bars, but it's going on two years now that we've been requiring dash bars. So if you've got a factory dash bar in there or something that we've given you some sort of waiver on because it didn't quite match up, please make sure you get in there and fix those dash bars. Take a good look at our rule book. We've got a couple of safety rules that have been in there for quite a while. Please make sure your car is, is up to spec on these kind of things. Now, we've rolled out some other stuff this year that is not related to the car as far as points values go. And specifically, that has to do with your pit equipment on pit lane. And the question has been asked about whether the cars racing in the Road Atlanta race will use the 2022 pit equipment or the 2023. And the answer is that everybody in this race will be required to follow the 2023 rules regarding pit equipment. And that has to do with no pneumatic air guns, only one battery powered lug nut impact wrench over the wall or one lug nut wrench type thing, one torque wrench, like Polly's giving me the torque wrench sign, one torque wrench, I'm looking over here as we're looking at it right now. So it says one lug tool, battery and or hand tool, one jack, one torque wrench and jack stands are allowed over the wall during the pit stop. And this is, this is the reasoning for that. <clears throat> First, that doesn't affect the car's value at all. Second, there is a safety element to this. There is some, there is an element to leveling the playing field, but there is a safety element to the type of equipment that was over the wall and how much equipment was over the wall and how it was being slung around. So there's a safety element to this too. And we have always been consistent that we will go with the most updated safety stuff in any realm of champ car. And remember this race, Road Atlanta, is the first race in qualifying for the 2023 championship. So it's important that everybody in this race is operating on the same level playing field when it comes to qualifying for the 2023 championship. So to be clear about that, the car has to be point valued the way it was in 2022 to be eligible for the 2022 championship. The pit equipment will go by the 2023 rule book. And a note about the championship. For those of you that have come to Road Atlanta before, you probably remember that I've run that race the last couple of years. But if you've been to any of the championships in the last couple of years, you will remember that Chelsea was always there as the race director. We're going to do that again here at Road Atlanta. I'm bringing Chelsea in to be the race director, the race steward up in race control. And there's a very specific reason for that. I have not been sharing with Chelsea who's eligible for the championship. Not that I've been hiding it from her, but just not something I've actively been discussing with her. And when she's upstairs running race control, yes, the cars will have the championship contender on the timing and scoring system, 
but it will not be something that Chelsea is actively aware of minute to minute. And the reason for that is Chelsea is going to manage and steward the race strictly on what's happening right then in the race. She will not know and she will not take into consideration whether you are or are not a championship contender. If you commit a violation, you have contact, you have passing under yellow, she's going to handle penalties and enforcement just like she does at any other race. Okay, so that the reason for that is so that she's not swayed in her decision by whether or not somebody is or is not in the championship contention. So manage your race accordingly. Everybody get out there and drive a good, clean race. So ultimately, Chelsea will manage the race and I will be managing the championship. So I hope that makes sense on that. I hope you guys understand that. That's to make sure that we have a good, clean race for everybody. The question has been asked about championship cars being able to get into the race. And we are at something like 61 registrations as of right now. I have set the limit at 90. It's a good, solid number for Road Atlanta. But there is always a little bit of extra cushion space, especially now with the Flagtronic system where we can communicate much more effectively with the cars. So if you are a championship eligible team and you decide at the last minute that you want to get into the race, I have enough space to get you in. So all championship eligible teams will be able to get into the race. For, and if you want to run the race anyway, registrations are open now. So if you're not a championship contending team and you want to sign up, there's plenty of space available. Go ahead and sign up for the race. But if you are a championship contending team, I am reserving some extra spots. So if you decide at the last minute that you want to come and you're eligible, I will make sure I get you into the race so nobody is excluded if they want to run. Um, that's pretty much all I've got on that. Again, I want to keep these things kind of short and sweet so you guys are able to watch them and not get too bored looking at me and listening to me blathering on. And once again, I'm going to look at Polly and see if anything I said did not make any sense to him. See if I get an up or down. Oh, I got an okay from Polly that time. So, all right. All right. Again, guys, uh, happy new year. Look forward to seeing you at the Road Atlanta race in 2023. And I am hoping for a terrific 2023 season. Thank you guys for racing with Champ Car. I look forward to seeing y'all. Bye. Out. Later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>